What's up, gamers and my fellow entertainers? I've been working on that. <laughs> so recently, I saw a video where they tried to make a canonical team for all the protagonists, where they changed the teams of the protagonists that appear in game. So today, I decided to figure out the best way to have all these protagonists in their own forms, where I count most of their cannons as one single entity. Um, these these were originally going to be different episodes, but I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to edit it that much, I'm just going to add audio to some Minecraft footage. So, section one is Kanto Trainers. For Kanto, we have the following. Red, Leaf, Chase, and Elaine. I'm including Chase and Elaine here because they were, you know, they take place in Kanto. And I'm not doing it by generation. It also just makes more sense considering they can only get Kanto Pokemon and Melted and Melmetal. Alright, let's start with Leaf to save Red for later, because Red's its own big deal. Leaf would start with Squirrel, because there were countless appearances of Red with Bulbasaur in places like Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, a few other games, and Let's Go. And a few Pokemon are confirmed from places like in the manga, which is the following Pokemon. Wigglytuff, Gramble, Blastoise, Ditto, Clefable, Nidoqueen, Abra, Horsey, and a second Jigglypuff that is mainly her flying Pokemon. I am probably going to edit Leaf section because I already probably did it. <laughs> There's a second manga where she owned Charmander, plus she had appearances with Super Smash Brothers where she had Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. I'm not going to be including their Smash Brothers of her appearances. For no, I'm, just, I'm just not going to include it. In a concept art, she has Combuskin and Pidgey. Huh. If we count Pokemon she could get in all the in her games, which is the one in her which is green. They're the same entity according to the manga, so she is Clefable, Gengar, Victory Bell, Nine Tails, Kangaskhan, and already guaranteed Blastoise. She also has the mandatory fossil, but I'm gonna save that for Chase and Elaine, even though they're not gonna use it anyways. <laughs> If we include final Pokemon, she can get via games without overlap by any other trainers from Kanto like Red, like the Eevee, or Let's Go Protagonist, she can get the gift Togepi. So what will be her final team? Probably her Let's Go team, which is Clefable, Gengar, Victory Bell, Ninetales, Kangaskhan, and Blastoise. But that's the, uh, that's the most canonical, but in my opinion... If I had to choose a team for like post game or like pre post game, it'll probably be Blastoise, Little Queen, Wigglytuff, Pidgeot, Evolved from the Pidgey, Victory Bell, and Ninetales. She could have gone more legendary dogs, but it's not the best for the canon. Although she definitely could have. So, yeah. Next, we're doing Red, which he's a lot of Pokemon that I said I wouldn't be able to list them all. However, <laughs> I did anyways. There was one manga I did not include for canon. So, um, it's the big one. Not like the one that's like the Adventures, but it's a different one. But he can't get any of the Kanto legendaries. So, Origins and that manga will not be counted for. So, Venusaur is a guarantee. And then there's a plenty of trading for future battles against him, like when we battle him, from his starters, from his rival, and from his friend, aka Leaf. So first we're going to do pre-champion in order to make this easier, then make a post-champion team. So, or first, Origins never really happened, because again, he caught all the legendaries. And that goes against what it says, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Let's Go. The Avengers manga did happen though, because he never owned them, and he did release legendaries at some point. So he's confirmed that he kept Poliwhirl, Venusaur, Pikachu, Snorlax, Gyarados, Aerodactyl, Nidorino, Diglett, and Espeon, which evolved from the Eevee, which is why the Eevee was not claimed by Green in the last section, and a Sandshrew. Now, there are the other Pokemon he did own, but they were not confirmed that he still had. So, but those were all from the Adventures manga. And we have the second manga, 
but it's even more crazy than that. But again, he called legendary and kept it, so we're not gonna deal with it. There's a brief appearance. We had a Clefairy in another manga, and past that, we have a lot of games where he appears in. So I'm going to write down all of his canon Pokemon teams, ones that don't have legendaries like Suicune, because we all know those could easily be claimed by other trainers. So he would have Pikachu, Espeon, Snorlax, Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, Lapras, Machamp, Arcanine, Meganium, Feraligatr, Jolteon, Scizor, and Tauros. Those Pokemon are chosen from separate games, by the way, in concert art. Not including legendaries and ones we have not taken. But already we have Steel, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Magnesaur, Pidgeot, and the iconic Rhydon. The first Pokemon. And past that we have Charizard and Masters, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard from Super Smash Brothers, Pikachu and Bulbasaur from Generations, the Kabuto or Omnite Fossil, which he never actually claims because of Let's Go. Eevee, which evolved into the Esperion, and the Lapras gift that was required in that generation. So his team before training in an Elite Four in red and blue, the game this took place in, in my opinion, would be Venusaur, Gyarados, Gyarados, whatever, Snorlax, Tauros, Arcanine, and Maridon. Then Gen 2 and beyond would be Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Esperion, and Machamp. And that's a pretty okay team, if I had to say so myself. Let's go to Let's Go's time. But first, I gave the Let's Go trainers the gift Pokemon to get myself an easier time, per se, because they don't have very many in game appearances at all, because the game just released. And, um, one of them doesn't even have a manga appearance while the other one just started. So, Chase is up first, I guess. He's seen more with the Pikachu, so that's his starter. And he'll play in the games Let's Go Pikachu. Because you don't start with Eevee in Let's Go Pikachu. In the manga, he, that at this point in time, uh, by the time the script was written, which was 11 days ago, from Wednesday, September 9th. So, he would have had Pikachu, Pidgey, and Mankey. In art of Chase for Let's Go, he has Charizard, Articuno, and Zapdos, which are on his side of the painting, if I do get a painting of it, or whatever. It's just on his side, so I'm assuming they're his. And those will also be post game in order to make it less overpowered. Plus the gift Eevee, not the gift Eevee, um, his starter Eevee if he was from that timeline. So for the gift Pokemon I'm giving Chase, he will have a Persian after catching five Growlithe, the Magikarp, the Charmander, well that was the Charizard, and a hit Mom Lee. And that is all the known Pokemon and pity Pokemon I'm giving Chase. So here's his Pokemon before the Leap Four and his team after, so you can see the difference. Pikachu, Charizard, Persian, Gyarados, evolved from the Magikarp. Hitmonlee and Pidgeot, which is a pretty good team, which evolved from the Pidgey, but you don't need to know that. Anyways, then his post-game team will most likely be Pikachu, Articuno, Zapdos, Charizard, Gyarados, and Hitmonlee, which most of them are flying type, but it's the best I can do for Chase. Elaine's finally up, we're in this end of her. At this point, she has almost no manga appearances, which sucks for this canonical thing, but luckily, there was a solution to this. But let's start with the obvious. She has the gift Eevee from the other starter. Sure, there is the whole canonical what's in the third Pokeball thing, and she would technically have to claim that, considering the rival to, you know, the other guy, Chase, <laughs> is um Eevee. So, Herald of Heaven, probably something, I don't know. But past that, she has Concept Art, which has Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Moltres from the post-game. Because, I mean, you could get earlier, but I'm going to say she didn't. Plus, a Pikachu. So, for Gift Pokemon, she is given Arcanine after catching five Meowth, Hitmonchan, 
Aerodactyl, Porygon, and Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, which were claimed from the art. And finally, she will capture Mewtwo to put us the post game plot, so that makes sense. Although, it shouldn't really do it, let's say, if the game updates when they finally add the Mewtwo Moltres, have those Articuno to a different game. This list will be completely outdated, but this is all I can do for now. So this is Aline's pre-Elite 4 team. Eevee, Blastoise, Venusaur, Arcanine, Aerodactyl, and Hitmonchan. Then, the post-game team is Eevee, Blastoise, Venusaur, Moltres, Mewtwo, and Aerodactyl. These are actually pretty decent teams for the four Kanto trainers, and ended pretty nicely. Now, we have section number two, Johto trainers. And for Johto trainers that are the main protagonists, we have Ethan, Chris, and Lyra. Ethan is the second hardest, so let's do him. Ethan, or Jimmy, or Gold had started out with a Cyndaquil which is now a Typhlosion, which is in basically all of his appearances. In the manga, Ethan has a Typhlosion, Ambipom, Politoed, Sunflora, Pseudo-Ludo, Togetic, Pichu, Mantine, 20 Remoraid, Lickitung, Sandshrew, Oddish, Krabby, Chansey, Weedle, Execute, Kakuna, and Drowsy. In anime, Ethan has a Typhlosion, Dawnfan, and Beedrill. Then, Ethan, we're talking about a combination of both gold slash silver and hard gold slash silver. That is where Ethan's games take place. So, he's a player for both of the games. So, for Gift Pokemon, we have Cyndaquil, now the Typhlosion, Togepi, Squirtle from the post game, and Trico from the post game. And now we have the art where Totodile, I mean, not Totodile, Ethan has the following Totodile, Chikorita, Pikachu, Smeargle, Scizor, Croconaw, Pichu, Knocked Owl, Shiny Charizard, and Arceus, which is receiving one of the legendaries for Lyra. So that's a lot of Pokemon. And what's his pre Elite 14 and post Elite 14? His pre one is Typhlosion, Ambipalm, Togetic. Pseudo Ludo and Kingler, which is his team in gold and silver, even though he takes place in both. Then the post game or post elite four team is even better with Typhlosion, Arceus, Blastoise, Sceptile, Scizor, and Togetic. He's one of the best teams yet, probably surpassing Red. Now let's do the easiest for this section. Lyra. Lyra, in this case, is an NPC that you see in-game. Not the main protagonist, but we're going to still call her the main protagonist. And it is blatantly obvious what her team is. She basically tells us it. Because she does. <laughs> she has a Mero, which we see her battle with, follow her. It's basically her starter. Rattata, Tauros, Bulbasaur, Porygon, and Tangela. In the anime, she also still has a mural, but she also has Chikorita and Giraffarig, which means Chikorita is her main starter. Then there is Art, where one of her best Pokemon comes out, one of the Sinnoh Legendary Dragons. It could be either one, but I decided to choose later on. She was level Reap, Slugma, Wooper, Charmander, Mudkip from gifts from beating the game. Even though she technically doesn't, she still will. So Lyra's final team for the Elite Four is Azumarill, Venusaur, Macargo, Meganium, Ampharos, and Quagsire. Thor's a bunch of type refrig, you know, over and over again, but it, you can't do much about it. And then in the post game, we have Azumarill, Charizard, Ampharos, Swampert, Meganium, and Dialga, which is a pretty okay team. I chose Dialga because it's a steel dragon. You 
can't go wrong with that. And that's Lyra's team, which is pretty great. Diago was just created, so nothing bad in the canon will happen. And now, we have the most difficult session, section at all. And to be honest, this is probably the most difficult section to repeat over and over again. We have Chris slash Crystal. Because she catches so many Pokemon. At first, I thought she's going to be impossible, and she'll only start with a Totodile in the games. Consort, we have one Pokemon, Togepi. In the anime, we have Feraligator, Mischievous, and Jigglypuff. Now we have the longest segment, the manga. I had to get past that first part really quick just because of this. <clears throat> we have Smoochum, Arcanine, Parasect, Cubone, Scizor, Hitmonlee, Zatu, Magania, Mr. Mime, Blissey, Rapidash, Starmie, Alakazam, Fanthe, Sheninja, Metagross, Three Slugma, Slugma, Sentra, Carapy, Fero, Noctow, Hoot Hoot, Pidgey, Ladybug, Hoppip, Spinarak, Arbuck, Pidgeot, Rattata, Kakuna, Oddish, Victory Bell, Flaffy, Dunsparce, Twelfth Staryu, Elekid, Quagsire, Sea King, Shiny Pine Go, Fanthe, Magby, Shuckle, Nidoran, Nidorina, Nidoran, Nidorino, Nido King, Abra, Canabra, Alakazam, Yanma, Drowsy, Hypno, Blossom, Polyrath, Politoed, Magikarp, Gyarados, Go Goldeen, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Onyx, Steelix, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Hobbit, Skiploon, Jumpbuff, Paris, Ekans, Arbuck, Areep, Flaffy, Ampharos, Wooper, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, Sandshrew, Sandlash, Coletha, Clefairy, Clefable, Zubat, Golbat, Crobat, Geodude, Graveling, Golem, Spinarak, Ariados, Lydian, Kakuna, Beedrill, Raichu, Rattata, Corsola, Pidgeotto, Spiro, Radicate, Furret, Metapod, Butterfree, Weedle, Iglybuff, Jigglypuff, Vigglytuff, Quacksire, Unknown, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Politoed, Goldeen, Sea King, Gloom, Blossom, Ditto, Fortress, and Lavatar. Lavatar. Now we've made it to the Git Pokemon because that took a while. We have Shiny Magby, Eevee, Dratini, Tyrogue, Spearow, Return After the League, Shuckle, Return After the League. And the fun part is the te team before the Elite Four will be the one basically after with only one evolution in between. Tyranitar, Alakazam, or Alligator. Magnium, Magmar, there was no Magmortar at the time, Gengar, and then the post Elite 14 is Tyranitar, Alakazam, Feraligator, Reganium, Magmortar, and Gengar. And that is all of Johto's Pokemon. And if I do screenshot this, you'll see why there's a lot of Pokemon here. <laughs> This is my fourth attempt at doing section three for Hoenn Trainers, Brendan. Brendan and May are both in this section, but Brendan's the first one. Like, oh my god. <laughs> we'll start out with Brendan, of course, because he's first. Where starters generally categorized as Trico. And he'll make he'll be the main protagonist in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So in the Delta episode, he will, in fact, catch Rayquaza. So then he can beat Deoxys and all that. So now we will count Pokemon from in-game appearances where he appears in. Where he has Torchic, Mudkip, Trico, Wailmer, Shroomish, Combustion, Numel, Marshtomp, Grovile, Swellow, Lotad, Slugma, Wingle, Lombre, Slugma. Pelipper, Tropius, Ludicolo, Wailord, Breloom, Blaziken, Macargo, Swampert, Sceptile, Raichu, Claydoff, Nextcloud. 
I just realized I said Slackma twice. I don't care. Now we have the art where he has Alteria, Minin, Magnemite, Pikachu, Combuskin, Trico, and Torchic. In the manga, Brendan has Mighty Ina, Delcaddy, Gardevoir, Swampert, Milotic, and Cast Form. And then in the anime world, Brendan has Shiftry, Agron, Swampert, Rhyperior, Septile, Latios, Septile again, and Trico. This is all, all of Brendan's known Pokemon, but he also gets gift Pokemon exclusive to Aurax. That includes Pikachu, Tokepi, Oshawott, Turtwig, Camerupt, and Sharkpedo. So in my opinion, this is his best team before the Elite Four. Remember, these are all my opinion. Sceptile, Altaria, Swampert, Blaziken, Latias received an Oras Sori, which I forgot to put up there. Not the best idea. And Raichu. And then in the post game we have Sceptile, Rayquaza, Swampert, Togetic, Blaziken, and Raichu. It was hard to decide whether to keep Latios or replace it with Rayquaza, but I think Rayquaza fits the spot more, just for main reasons. And now we have May, who has all the same in-game Pokemon, being Torchic, Mudkip, Trico, Whelmer, Shroomish, Combustion, Numold, Marshdom, Grovile, Swellow, Lotad, Slugma, Wingle, Lombre, Pelipper, Tropius, Ludicolo, Wailord, Breloom, Blaziken, Macargo, Swampert, Sceptile, Raichu, Claydol, and Exploud. In this context, she does in fact start off with Torchic on her journey. When it comes to art, she also has Mudkip, Pikachu, Plusle, Torchic, and Mew. Past that, we have the manga where she has Torchic, Agron, Blaziken, Tropius, Dauphin, Gullhead, Combuskin, Beatify, Skitty, and Munchlax from a bunch of different mangas. Where one she has Torchic, one where she has Beatify, Skitty, all this stuff. In the anime and trailers, she has Blaziken, Beautify, Skitty, Venusaur, Munchlax, Warthortle, Glaceon, Swampert, Blaziken again, Altaria, Audino, and Latias. Then, the remaining gift Pokemon because of she's an Emerald and not Auras will be Why Not, Cast Form, Beldum, and Sugarita. So, in my opinion, this is her team before the Elite Four. Blaziken, Agron, Swampert, Audino, Glade, and Venusaur. In the post game, she has Blaziken, Meganium, Swampert, Mew, Latias, and Metagross. Even though there's type overlap, it fits pretty well, in my opinion. Opinion, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Sinnoh for Section 4. There's two characters in these games. We have Don and Lucas. Now, we usually been doing the one with the medium amount or the most or least first. So Don's gonna have a lot of appearances because I mean she's kind of like one of the most liked characters that are protagonists. So let's get started. And that's not my opinion, but so um she would have in the games as well as Lucas would have Piplup. Turtwig, Chimchar, Bidoof, Clefairy, Kadabra, Primplup, Grotto, and Monferno. So if I had to choose a main starter, it would be Chimchar, seen in more art and in the manga. Though, not the normal one though, and the Diamond and Pearl Adventures one. And past that, we have then the Oxar manga appearance. Where she has, in fact, Milotic, Empoleon, Lopunny, Frostlash, Shiram, Parshirishu, Infernape, Milotic, Leafeon, Glaceon, Electrive, Duxnore, Eevee, Espeon, Piplup, Baneary, Parichu, Ambipom, Mimal Swine, and a Registeel that should be in the post game. For just, just this reason. 
has had in anime and animation. We have Piplup, Baneri, Parishu, Minimal Swine, Quillada, Took a Kiss, and Ambipom. This is actually a small selection event, though, which has the most appearances. So let's move on to the Pre Elite Four, which is Infernape, Dusnor, Empoleon, Torterra, Alakazam, and Togekiss. Then, in the post game, is also solid with Infernape, Dusnor, Reggie Steel, Milotic, Alakazam, and Togekiss, which I think fits all appearance in the games more. Lucas is next. He has the same Pokemon as Dawn in game, where he has Piplup, Turtwig, Chimchar, Bidoof, Clefairy, Kadabra, Primplup, Grotto, and Monferno. But in the manga, he packs a punch with having Regirock from the post game, Infernape, Regigigas, Munchlax, Weavile, Ryan Jr., Munchlax again, Torterra, Bastiodon, Licky Licky, Mamoswine, Reggie Gigas again, Empoleon, Luxray, Mischievous, Onyx, Lucario, Reggie Gigas a third time, Kadabra, and Minon. Then for the anime, we have one Pokemon, Magmortar. In art, we have Empoleon, which is a starter for it because it has the most appearances. Now for the pre elite 14, which is Infernape, Weavile, Snorlax, Torterra, Lucario, Empoleon, which is pretty decent. However, post game is better with Infernape, Weavile, Regigigas. I don't know if that was a better replacement for Snorlax, but eh. Reggie Rock, Empoleon, and Torterra, which we do not have to use Gift Pokemon at all. But it could be more accurate, to be honest. Hey, so I had to cut this video a little bit short. Because, um, I don't have enough footage. But if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. It'll just show if you want more Pokemon and stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the speed art. I'm using it here instead of my next Pokemon X and Y video, which you should be able to check out on Twitch if I do do another one with my friend. I hope I do. But anyways, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. It was really fun making this video, playing Minecraft and just getting, like, reading it out, doing research. So interesting to see what Pokemon they had. Um, this video was based off MNJTV, I think. I don't remember his. I think that's how you say his name. Um, but yeah, this is that's the inspiration behind this. And yeah, subscribe.